What were you uh, given this award for this evening? I'm sorry? Uh, please state your name and the award you received and why you think you received it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, my name is Sandra Rodriguez and I'm here to receive the Daniel Pearl Award for Courage and Integrity in Journalism after my coverage in Ciudad Juarez and the war in that border. Why was it worthy of an award? Because it's uh, given recognition to the commitment to tell the story and despite all the violence and race, we journalists, uh, this award recognized that the journalists that remain in our positions as reporters and I think that's uh, deeply inspiring to be here tonight after all that time of tension and violence. Did you report about the mafia, the drug mafia? I did, in, in the border, in Juarez. Have other journalists been injured because of their reporting? Two of my colleagues in my newsroom got killed. Uh, one in 2008, another one in 2010. Many other uh, left the city because of the threats. And, um, but we are, I mean, there, is, there are many other reporters that remain uh, doing the job. Why did you take the risks of continuing reporting about this matter? Because it's my work. Being a reporter, you don't ask yourself if it is risky or if it is dangerous. You just ask yourself what is the best way to tell that story because it was a great story. It was the biggest story that I could cover in my entire life until that moment. What happened as a result of your coverage? What, what occurred? as a result of what you're reporting? Well, through my reporting, I could uh, expose the systemic problems like how the impunity affects and how the impunity, the lack of investigation in crimes uh, fuel the violence. And I create databases to expose um, who were the victims and and how the government didn't do anything to solve the problem and who were the people fighting and how the, these truck uh, traffickers uh, were um, unable to get caught by authorities because they were like, in, because of the corruption of the system, etc. Do you still feel like you're at risk in Juarez? I think every citizen in Mexico now is at risk, uh, at risk because the situation is getting worse despite of the whole uh, new image that the new government tried to sell. And because, because nobody's applying law, nobody's investigating, and as far as we don't know who killed the people, the killers are still around, you know? And that's, I think that's the main idea that I wanted to expose as a journalist that as far as we don't have any justice, it's not going to be any peace. Will you stay on the job? Will you continue on the job? Sure, yeah. sure. Yeah. I, I, was, I was based in Mexico City for the last three months and I'm going to Boston, for, to Cambridge. To work, to work for which paper? No, I'm going for a Neiman Fellowship. Which school? Harvard. Harvard School of? Uh, it's a fellowship for journalists in Cambridge, in Harvard. Buena suerte. Hmm? Good luck to you. Thank you very much.